after eight months of RVing in the Northeast, I finally got to use my Thousand Trail Zone Pass that I got when I bought my RV when I stopped at the Bulow Plantation 80 miles south of Jacksonville in Flagler, Florida. There were four destinations in Florida I wanted to visit over the winter. Sunset in Key West, sea alligators on an airboat, manatees of course, and drive down Daytona Beach. At my age, my limited mobility inhibits long walks to the beach. So actually driving on the beach made it possible for a very pleasant afternoon. Before there was NASCAR and the Daytona Speedway, there was racing on Daytona Beach. And today you can still drive down it. Access to the beach is $20 per vehicle with a one-time re-entry the same day. There are five vehicle beach ramps in Ormond Beach and 13 in Daytona Beach. The land speed record was set in 1927, and racing on an oval beach course began in 1937 until 1957. was formed here in 1948 and raced here until 1957. The following year, the new 2.5 mile Daytona International Speedway was opened nearby. my trip on the Daytona Beach. Perhaps next year I'll get tickets to the Daytona 500. If you'd like to see more videos, please like and subscribe to follow me on YouTube.